In this video, I want to show you how to make handouts from your PowerPoint presentation. Let's say you have a bunch of slides and you want to be able to give handouts to your audience. Now, if we just did file, print, file, and then print, it would print one slide per page. Well, if you have, you know, 30, 40, 50 slides or more, you're going to be wasting a lot of paper there. So here's what you do. When you do file print, you're going to come over here and you click on the uh, item where it says full page slides. And then notice how one of the sections says handouts. So then you can decide how many slides per page that you want to do. You could do one, two, three, four, six, or nine. One that people use all the time is three. And I'll show you why. When we use three specifically, then it gives you the lines where people, people can draw their notes. Now, this presentation was 21 slides. So instead of printing 21 pages, I'm going to print seven pages with three slides per page. And it even has the lines for the, um, for the notes for people to take. Let's try some of the other options. I just clicked on that pull down where it says three slides right there. Let's try four. You can see what that's going to look like. Let's try six. And then even nine is not bad because typically you're not going to have a lot of text on each individual slide. So, you know, it's okay to have nine slides per page. Then it reduced it down to three pages in this case, instead of 20, 21, that's a big improvement. Then you can do like four slides vertical and you see what these look like as well. So I am kind of partial to the one that says three, and this is the one that many people use because then we have the slide and we also have the lines for the notes as well. Then you would print that, of course, and make it go from there. Now, uh, another thing that you could do is maybe you don't want these to be printed in color because obviously the color print is going to be more expensive than the black and white print or the color copies will be more expensive than the black and white copies, right? So we'll come over here and instead of color, I might go with gray scale. Then notice how it shows up in shades of gray. So that's an, another good uh, way for you to save money. That, that won't consume as much as your uh, cartridge on your printer. But when we're making our handouts, I would come over here and you, you see the uh, section for the handouts, right? When you do file print within PowerPoint and you could try three, four, you can see what four looks like, six. Six is not bad. Nine might be a little bit small, but you can decide upon that for yourself. But that way you would save the most paper. Six isn't bad. We just went from 21 pages down to four. Now, let me show you another thing that will be important for your handouts. I'm going to go ahead and click on the arrow to close this window. There is a handout master, uh, which can define how your handouts are going to appear. So up here, I'll pick on the, the view menu. And notice under the view menu, you have the handout master, and then you can decide what's going to be on this. So with the handout, you can, you can uh, have, is it portrait or landscape, the slide size, the slides per page. All right. Then you can decide whether you're going to have the header, the footer, the date and the page number, and then different styles for your, um, uh, your handouts as well. So you can set these things. When you're done with this, you'll pick on close. The way I got to this one, there was I picked on the view and the slide, uh, the handout master. Then you can set up some things. But then to print the handouts, I picked on file and I picked on print. Before you actually print it, you come over here and you click on this pull down and then you can decide which handouts that you would like to do. That's how you can quickly create handouts from your PowerPoint presentation.